Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the Triumphal Arch and Roman Theatre of Orange, southern France. Today we're in the city of Orange and we're looking at Roman ruins. Now there's two components to this listing, the Triumphal Arch, which you can see behind me, and the Roman Theatre, which we'll get to in a minute. Now both of these buildings date from when this area was first colonised by the Romans in the first century AD, and this spot actually marked the entrance to the city. Now there's a lot of carvings and reliefs all over the arch, and it depicts Augustus and his stepfather Julius Caesar conquering Gaul, or modern day France. There's also some carvings that commemorate the victory of Augustus over Mark Antony and Cleopatra, which won him sole control of the empire. This is the Roman theater, and it's absolutely colossal. It's almost 40 meters high and over 100 meters long, and that makes it one of the largest Roman theaters still existing anywhere in the world. And it would have held up to 10,000 spectators back in Roman times. Now the stage wall you can see behind me is largely original, though back in the Roman era it would have been covered in marble, limestone and friezes, and there's not much of those decorations left, only the few columns that you can see and the statue of the emperor. And what's incredible about this place is that it's one of only three Roman theatres still existing that has the entire stage wall. Now, the steps that you can see are largely not original, but the outer wall, the circular part opposite the stage, that is largely original. And you can see all the areas where the theatre goers would mingle, where they would chat and have drinks and just generally do what theatre goers do. It's crazy to think that the theatre would hold 10,000 people because that was essentially the population of the entire town. But theatre was very, very popular with the Romans. Pantomimes, farces, comedies, tragedies, dramas, the works. And it was just so common to go to the theatre. At one point in Rome, 180 days of the year were dedicated to going to the theatre. And although the actors were generally slaves or freedmen and very much looked down upon, they were also semi-worshipped for their craft, which is a really interesting contradiction, I think. But it's really fascinating to see these ruins still so well preserved. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the Road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.